before the video starts, today's shout out winner goes to Chaos Levitate. If you guys want a chance to win a shout out in the next video, drop a like and a comment down below, subscribe with notifications on, and I will pick somebody randomly that will be shouted out in my next video. I hope you guys enjoy. Yo, what's going on guys, Satsuki here, and yes guys, we do in fact have a pretty juicy video on our hands. But before I spill the beans for you guys, about 5 days ago, a guy named OPKX commented on one of my videos saying, make us eat special food. And you know what guys, OPKX is right. As you guys remember, a couple videos ago, I told you guys to go and get some healthy food. However, I think we deserve a little break. So as you are watching this video, go and grab some special food to eat. Maybe grab some pasta, lasagna, some barbecue, and if you are really feeling it, maybe even go down to Red Lobster or a fancy restaurant and grab yourself a nice meal. And also guys, comment down below right now and tell me what you are eating as you are watching this video. But now guys, as you guys relax and eat, it's time for me to spill the beans. Our first story is pretty interesting. This one is coming from former Parallel Spencer, and holy guys, Spencer ended up leaving Parallel, hence why I said former, but he tweeted out saying, Yo, left at Team Parallel, announcement soon. And this is a very big loss for Parallel, because Spencer has about 600k subscribers on YouTube, so Spencer was a really big influencer in Parallel, you know. As you guys already know, Lex also who ended up leaving Parallel not too long ago, and he ended up joining Obey. So me personally, I really do think that Spencer has also joined the Obey Alliance. However, guys, Diana, who is a leader of Parallel, replied to Spencer's tweet by saying, Good luck, my dude. Get that money. And another person, Inverse Shadows, replied to him by saying, Money moves. So I'm not too sure what team Spencer has joined. Maybe 100 Thieves, TSM, FaZe can also be a possibility. But let me know what you guys think. Comment down below right now, and tell me what team you think Spencer has joined. Our next story is actually pretty funny guys. Now this one is coming from Exif. Now if you guys don't know who Exif is, I will just quickly give you guys a background check on him. So in a nutshell, Exif is a quote unquote professional Fortnite player and a few months ago, he was allegedly exposed for cheating on Fortnite and when that happened, Fortnite banned Exif for 14 days. However, after those two weeks, he got unbanned and ever since then, Exif has always had a bad reputation. He is looked down upon and many people just don't like him. And holy guys, during the Fortnite World Cup, it was pretty embarrassing for Xif. Basically, long story short, every time the casters showed Xif's screen slash his point of view to the audience, people started booing, and every time Xif died, people were cheering. Just watch the video, guys. absolutely embarrassing right if that was me i would literally quit fortnite and never ever ever play ever again like just imagine getting booed from the crowd every time you get on the screen and when you die people start cheering i'm also sure that with all that happening to exif i'm certain that it definitely impacted his performance at the world cup our next story is absolutely massive this one is pretty biblical and i know i say every story is biblical but this one is actually gonna go down in the books so it is pretty biblical guys this one is coming from FaZe Clan. Now just a little backstory on this, if you guys don't know, FaZe Clan has been a team for like 10 years and within that decade, there has never ever 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 been a girl to join FaZe. And yesterday guys, something crazy happened. After 10 years, FaZe Clan finally picked up their first ever girl. The girl who joined, her name is Ewok and her joined FaZe tweet blew up guys. It has over 100k likes and the crazy part is, not only is Ewok the first ever girl to join FaZe, but she is also the first first ever deaf person to join FaZe. Pretty biblical stuff you know. So yes guys, as you guys can see on the screen, she uses hand gestures to like you know, tell us what she is referring to. FaZe Banks tweeted out saying, Welcome to FaZe, you're incredible, you inspire me. First girl ever in FaZe, I'm glad we held out this long. You are perfect. At Ewok. FaZe Mew tweeted out saying, and I really like this, FaZe has proved that you can be blacklisted from the team and still join. Now if you guys don't know what he's referring to, now I'm not sure how many of you guys are from the Call of Duty community, but as you guys know FaZe Tensor, Tensor was actually blacklisted from FaZe at one point. In 2014, FaZe was hosting a recruitment challenge, which was the hashtag FaZe5, and in 2014, Tensor was in SOAR, he made it into top 20 of the FaZe5, but unfortunately, he was exposed for faking clips, then all the FaZe guys got Tensor into a Skype call, 
and something biblical happened. People still talk about this to this day. And I will show you guys the legendary clip right now. Wait, right, wait, wait. Seabass is here. Show him. All right, wait. Seabass, you got the interview? Yo, you guys actually have to ask him good questions and get solid answers for the video or else it's not going to be good. I don't know. Yo, Tensor. What? Yo, I don't know what these guys are doing in this call, but you fucking fake clips. You're kicked from the response. You're kicked from the challenge and you're kicked from the store. You're a fucking idiot, dude. Oh, we just wanted you to know. <laughs> <laughs> you're kicked from the challenge and you're kicked from the store. You're a fucking idiot, dude. Disqualified. So yeah guys, as you guys heard, FaZe Seabass came in hot and blacklisted Tensor from FaZe and also got him kicked from Sore. But like 4 years later, Tensor ended up joining FaZe. But anyways, FaZe Mew also said, FaZe has proved that you can be younger than 13 and still join. And obviously, she's referring to High Sky here. FaZe has proved that you can put out small numbers and still join. And he's referring to multiple people here, like FaZe Kaz, FaZe Orba, etc. And lastly, he said, FaZe just proved that you can be a girl and join. G G at FaZe Clan. So holy guys, pretty insane stuff, right? But yeah, guys, I'm very happy for Ewok. She seems like a great person, you know, and I think FaZe couldn't have picked anyone better. And speaking of FaZe Clan picking up their first ever girl, as you guys already know, Evade also just recently ended up picking up their first ever girl, and her name is Evade Gwen. And a couple days ago, guys, Han Tao, who is the owner of Evade, tweeted out saying, looking for more female creators slash streamers slash players for Evade because Evade Gwen is lonely. Only. So yeah guys, you heard it here first. Hantao wants to pick up more girls to his team. And also guys, Evade actually looks for talent. They aren't just picking up a girl just because she's a girl. Like for an example, Gwen. Gwen is a really good streamer. And she is actually pretty good at the game. She's not like one of those girls who clout chase, you know. But if you guys know any girls that you think would be a great fit for Evade, drop a comment down below. There's not that many genuinely genuine girls in the fortnite scene if you know what i mean but yeah i have no idea what i just said in like the last 10 seconds but anyways moving on our next story is biblical this one is coming from the fortnite world cup and holy guys some people went from sleeping on the floor to sleeping on a bed like literally now so much stuff happened during the fortnite world cup however as you guys already know i only shared the juicy stuff i'm sure like all of you guys were watching it now first of all these are the people who won the fortnite competitor Twitter account tweeted out saying, Congrats to all of our winners this weekend at the Fortnite World Cup. Now the solo champion is Booga. And oh my god guys, this is astounding. Now first of all, Booga is only 16 years old and he just won 3 million dollars guys. I can't even comprehend that. Imagine having 3 million dollars at the age of 16. Pretty crazy right? The duo champions are Nyrox and Aqua and they are gonna split the grand prize of 3 million dollars. So that basically means Nyrox gets 1.5 million dollars and so does aqua so that's still a lot of money you know the pro am champions are airwax and rl grime and then the creative champions are face scissors tyler h suzho and zan so you know what guys all these winners are gonna go home and just swim in money you know i saw this pretty funny tweet and it was a fake account of booga and once again he just won three million dollars however this fake account tweeted out saying a mom told me to take out the trash when i get home i just throw twenty dollars at her b word can do it herself i found that pretty funny you know also daryl axel tweeted out saying everyone who plays top 10 in world cup today and he posted a picture of 50 cents old tweet saying i can't believe my grandmother's making me take out the garbage i'm rich f this i'm going home i don't need this stuff so yeah guys basically everyone in the top 10 is just absolutely rich and you know they're gonna be living life now also another funny tweet is coming from faceway so this e-girl tweet out saying booga kind of cute though not gonna lie and then faceway drops all the balls on this e-girl faceway quotes the e-girl's tweet by saying booga wins three million dollars e-girls and you know faceway is saying that this e-girl is a gold digger if you know what i mean you know but unfortunately guys some people were actually pretty sad ghost is a tweet out saying this feeling sucks i always let everyone down benji fishy tweet out saying sorry we'll do better next time sorry for letting anybody down and also another unfortunate thing happened skeptic and clicks are no longer a duo skeptic tweeted out saying clicks and i just don't mesh well as a duo and we decided to go our separate ways he's a beast at the game and one of the best players i wish him nothing but the best and hope he finds a great duo it just didn't work out between us didn't intend for all the drama so damn guys skeptic and clicks are no longer a duo so comment down below right now and let me know who skeptics and clicks this new duo should be 
But nonetheless, this was an amazing tournament hosted by Fortnite. I really do think Fortnite will never die just because how insane and how involved everybody is, you know. Before we move on, I want to see who made it this far into the video. So if you are hearing this right now, comment down below right now and tell me what would be the first thing you buy if you ever won the Fortnite World Cup. I just want to see who's a real one, you know, and who actually watches my videos. And I just want to give a shout out to a few more people. So shout out to Bomb, Blaze Diano, Melvo, Slap Easy, and Livish for watching my videos and for being a part of the Juicy Gang. But now back to the good stuff. Our next story is coming from Dakotas and this one is also pretty funny. Now his Twitter was actually hacked for a little bit. The hacker on Dakotas Twitter tweeted out saying, I'll be real, Tifu is a bot, you are all poor peasants, haha, ha. I'm a Bitcoin millionaire, I'm a effing bot. He also said, Aqua in this B. And lastly, a nice fake wedding at Jake Paul, you ugly T word. And there were a few more you know, but I don't want to share them because they are racist you know but hopefully he can get his twitter back and the hacker is a nice guy because you know dakota does have a pretty big twitter account and it would suck if he doesn't get it back our last story is actually very nice now just a little backstory on this a guy named king was playing in the fortnite world cup and he ended up winning 900 grand slasher tweeted out saying 13 year old argentinian venom king god slayer of the gods embraces his father after coming in fifth place and winning 900 grand at the fortnite world cup the father is telling king todo to yo which means all yours and obviously his father is saying that all the money king just won is all his and i will play the video for you guys right now So yeah guys, I just thought I'd share that with you guys. It's a very nice thing what his dad did, because I'm sure some parents would want some of that bread. But yeah, I'm very happy for King that he gets to keep all of his prize money. But that's all the news for today guys. If you guys happen to enjoy the video, drop a like and a comment. And if you want to be kept updated with everything that happens, make sure to subscribe with notifications on. Okay, peace.